money to sell within the family. Maybe that's what happened. It's hard to tell. Because I know there is... I forgot to stop streaming and start streaming again. Oh, uh, well, then. <laughs> well, um, it's because uh, he records it as I'm streaming. Oh. So I'm not just going to upload, like, a four-hour video to YouTube, and I'm like, no one was watching it. But I am... Um, <laughs> By my parents' house, there's a nail salon, dry cleaner, and Chinese food place. They're all actually owned by the same family. <laughs> so his hand looks terrible, and but like, I'm going to keep it anyway. Wait, it's all one drops. This is super keepable. It actually I is, though, because like this lava spook's already paying dividends. Yeah. Uh, except we're against burn. <laughs> oh, no, we're against shitty budget burn again. Ah. This is like the what? Like. Every time we played this burn. deck, we played burn. I don't understand it. <laughs> Oh, you saw it. I realized he switched decks. I'm like, it's red now. <laughs> That's not a zombie. The fireball was not a dead giveaway, apparently. It's literally the oh, second of all of us. They're bad, too. <laughs> it's literally... <laughs> they bolted our swift spear. Oh, no, they're dumb. This is literally 12... I think I have to faithless to her hitting a land. Yeah. This is literally 12 bolt. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, we're playing the Saffron Obelisk. Cool, we got time. Against more. Saffron. We should have put Dragon Claws in our sideboard. Oh, why didn't we? Knowing our luck, we'd be against Burn every game. This is like literally 12 bolt. This is. No, this is the actual budget deck. Like, that's crazy. It's also like $70 for a deck that I'm pretty sure will never actually do well in paper. This? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. This deck is like stupid expensive in paper. The only good thing about it is then you could just mold it into a real burn deck. Sure. Lose complete value on your madness there. Can't cast it for free. <laughs> what do you mean this is cost mana? And you didn't get the damage in with the mat, so I'll take it. Oh god. He's literally just getting in for two here then? Land. Oh my god. <laughs> you want to get like two smaller pieces? I think I have to discard Flame of Kill, but I don't think I can play it. Yeah, pitch Flame of Kill. It's way too like, late for that card to be relevant. Just gonna bolt Soul Scar. Yeah. And now they're sitting on their side of the screen going like, Ah, oh, they're idiots! <laughs> <laughs> they bolted my creature. They got so much value from their boom at though. <laughs> this deck is so bad. No, we just have hit No, no, not our deck. Really the, bad. Their deck. Yeah. Why does it not play Anger the God sideboard? Oh, wait, because it's Burn. I'm just going to set this here and... Yeah, I was going to say, might as well Lava Spike their face at this point. And block their bow mat. You should play, like, Wheel of Fate. I know, right? <laughs> what should we get? I don't know, speed is fine. So they got, like, two smaller ones that can play and make a burn. That sounds good. Okay. Oh, man, they actually got the value on this one. They're going to bolt our guy. <laughs> <laughs> this one makes more sense to me, at least ending it with the bow mat. I hate that, like... When you hit for, like, a decent amount. When we play this deck, we end up, like, drawing total crap. and then They've drawn like... fire. Yeah. Under our bow mat, we drew four, and I'm just going to... Fucking killer stuff. But now knowing their lucks are going to draw like bolt, 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 and just. Yep. I'm like, I'm so good at this game. Man, it's crazy. Why isn't everyone playing this deck? Sure. Wow. There's also that game we drew 30 cards and didn't draw a bolt. <laughs> Now, I think we unironically bring in Damping Sphere here. I think I bring in, you know, PZ. <laughs> They're probably boarding in, like, the same crap that <laughs> we're boarding in. Probably, yeah. Man, they'll never expect Young Pyromancer. I think I just take out Rift Bolts. Actually, no, I think I Fire Tempers. They're not very good. Yeah, Rift Bolt, you can at least turn one. There's no world where you can turn one Fire Temper. Although the art on Fire Temper is sweet. Yeah, it is. This needs dragon claws. It does. 
I think maybe not putting the two extra damping spheres in that I put in. <laughs> <laughs> the two dragon claws. Now we're really ready to beat Tron in the uh, 01 bracket. No, 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 we're going to go 01, and then we're going to play Burn again. We're going to go 02, then we're going to play Burn again. We're going to go 03, then we're going to play Burn again. And then KCI. <laughs> and then KCI. Although I think our KCI matchup's fine. Yeah, we can actually beat KCI. Actually, we won't, though, because obviously we drew, like, ten cards that game, and one land. We're like, all right, I guess. Got there. It's the curse of playing 18 lands. You just don't draw them. Well, statistically, you should if you drew, like... We were down, like, 40 cards and had two lands. <laughs> That's true. I just think this deck is really bad. I think it is too. Why is the faithless looting like two of them have like? Why is this kid taking so long to sideboard? Dude, he has to decide if he wants to bring in Tormod's crypt. <laughs> He's gonna bring in Tormod's crypts and damping spirits. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are colorless, so like I don't think it actually matters with these. I'll just put them in. Well, they didn't see that many creatures, so I think Chain World is probably a good option. He's not gonna be blocking it. He's probably, he's probably gonna bring a stream whirler and I'm gonna have like searing places in him be like I can't kill it <laughs> <laughs> well this kid's like unron ironically like a retard <laughs> jeez that took him forever all right <laughs> <laughs> turn one bow mat turn two bow mat turn three bow mat <laughs> Earth three anger of the gods. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wouldn't that be like really Mold interesting? The six, we got there. That we win. I never understood the art for Bowman. Bo Bo oh my god! Okay. Fucking what? Well, now we can double Bowman. Get wrecked, nerd. You can't bolt both of them. Or if you do, I just soak nine damage. <laughs> 20 bucks as he wastes, like, a whole bunch of burn on them. Oh, I guarantee it. Like, straight up. He's gonna do this, and then watch bolt, bolt. Oh, no. Boom at, and bolt. Oh, no. Uh -huh. He's Fuck. doing actually Grim Lava Mancer, which I'm just gonna fucking sear and blues. I genuinely don't think Lava Mancer is a good option for this deck. Oh my god, you get to see Aaron Blaze and Lava Runner here. This is just Value City. Yeah, no, I don't actually think Lava Mancer. I would have probably taken it out knowing that we're playing a burn deck. I just don't think it's a very good card in general. I don't think so either. I feel like the, like. But I can sack both of these and draw four. If I draw another land, that's actually a really good option. Like, I do this and then draw, draw. Yeah. <sighs> this kid is so bad at playing this game. <sighs> I think he did that, like, just to turn on his Lava Runner. I think so, too. I would have bolted me. <sighs> like, we're way ahead in this. Smuggler's Copter is a good draw. Let's play Smuggler's Copter. And then it's fine, I'll sack it. Yeah, like Yeah, we fucking suck at hitting with bow mats. With bow mats. <laughs> Swiss 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 Beer well, we get this, like, We've exact... gotten that twice before. Yeah. Like, In this, this exact, exact order. Thing. I hope they attack with their uh, lava guy here and I can block with copter. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is free value. Or you could uh, get bow mat and prevent the hand refill from it. No, they're going to discard it anyway. That's true. Right? What? They discard bow mat no matter what? Yeah, you're right. Hit the, get the lava runner then. I forgot that they actually had a mana hub. Yeah, because I was going to sack. Sure. <sighs> okay. I 
think I do this. Here, here, crew. Swing the team, uh, loot away the fire temper bolt. Yep. Yeah, I think the small helicopter main board is like a much better option. I think so. Especially a lot of our form. creatures are terrible. What? A lot of our creatures are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Like having a three-three flyer that actually does something is actually really relevant for this deck. It's much better than a one-two that can sometimes have haste. Well, we also kind of just like kill them next turn. So, bolt, bolt, bolt. <laughs> but I was gonna say what we should do is uh, faithless looting. Realize that we're not gonna draw any burn. Sack the bow mat. Get a mountain from under that. <laughs> and then like, I, I don't that's... Even know what to do against their deck because they're so terrible playing this deck. I think we just run it back. Like. They didn't do anything. Nope. I Looks think like the changes we made are better than the deck they're playing is. Looks like they're also running it back. Well, it's because, like, just the addition of Lava Spike is good. Mm hmm Like, it's... It's three extra, like, points of reach that you don't have, like, this dumb, like... Restriction on. Definitely. Well, we'll see what they do, because this is, a. Uh... I really this this is the scoop just scoop team. <laughs> we both know your deck's not very good because our removal is better and does because I mean they're only playing like I think two searing blaze in the sideboard. Oh, that's sideboard. I put four main deck because that card is significantly better than the crap we're playing. Oh, 100 percent. It kills so many cards. There's so many other things I'd rather have than, like, gut shot. It's like, oh, God, it's so cute to have this gut shot in here. Like, it's one of Saffron Hall's pet cards that he throws into any deck. And, like, I hate it. Yeah, no, he... I think he isn't very good. Especially at playing Magic. He's really bad at playing the game of Magic. Oh, he is. He misplays all the time, then complains about his deck being bad. And it's like, he's kind of playing it badly. This is a really bad hand, right? Yeah. I still think you try it, though, just because, like... I think so, too. I have the Searing Blaze, and I have these two guys yeah. that are going to soak some damage. And your odds of, like, drawing more lands is pretty low. Yeah, I think the first turn I'm actually going to play the Gitu, and not the Bowmat. Knowing how bad they are at... They're probably going to bolt it anyway. Well, exactly, how bad they play. I think you're better off dropping this guy first. Faithless Looting is an interesting draw, though. Yep. Hey, how did I know? Oh my god. At least he put one of those to your face and didn't like I hope he double, double, double bolt. I would have loved if he double bolted. Hold priority, bolt, bolt. So right now our hand is actually pretty solid against yeah, theirs. Yeah, no, you're like you're in a really good spot to just like free kill everything that they play. Mm-hmm. I do this and then suspend bolt. Okay. Oh, because it's a wizard. Oh, he had to cast it there. I thought he was bolting it, and I was like, "Deal." <laughs> I thought he was also. Score temper temper. Do you use Faithless Looting as a mill too? Almost. He did discard two lands, though. Like, the fact that it doesn't even play Rift Bolt is, like, crazy, because Rift Bolt isn't even expensive. Most of the cards that are burn aren't expensive, except, like, the really bad ones. Now you just start swinging the bow, man. The second he drops any threat, you immediately just searing blaze it. Yeah. Searing blood it. Now I just hold lands and... Flashback Faithless Looting. I was in my Oh my god. Cool. Free damage. <laughs> it's 
it's the best top deck. Yeah, just free cards. Yeah, you essentially have draw three for two red on board right now. So are we still playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bolt your, your bow mat. He, oh, he's flashing back, okay. I'm going to fiery temper your bow mat. Is that what he's doing? I hope so. I would die laughing if he did. No, it's not. Ugh, darn, he's not like actually just disabled. <laughs> okay. Cool, we did it. Got there. I was going to face this looting anyway. So we're 1-0 we're right now? Yep. This is where we 5-0 the league. <laughs> so look at this fucking horrible draw. <laughs> These are the next six cards. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wish I knew what was on their bow mat. I wish you could check. Well, we got there. Nice. Wait, our opponent was 2-1 and one with that deck? No, we went 2-1 that match. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought that was... I think you can check what they were. There was a way. I don't remember how. I think it tells you in the beginning of the game. Yeah, and it goes like a total dumpster fire anyway. Wait, we've already played against this guy today. Yeah, I just went into the... Oh, okay, I thought... To view it. I thought this was the next match, and I was like, no, I don't want to play against another burn player for the fourth time. What is doubling bolus? Oh, uh, I'm a double season with bolus. Oh, <laughs> friendly 1v1 brawl league yeah if you looked at it, there's like 51 people actively playing <laughs> the fucking popper league has more people yeah popper's actually really popular online it's like weirdly expensive online though yeah like i don't because like they don't print the cards very frequently that's why like the pyro blast like was half our value <laughs> it was all of our value <laughs> that's the most expensive card besides that Sweet Ox Vanguard that doesn't exist. That's worth infinite money. <laughs> it's infinite. <laughs> oh no, it failed. I want to see how many people are in the uh, other random leagues. Like, nobody. Like, the only ones that get people are, like, competitive modern, modern standard, competitive standard. Legacy gets, like, a few. Because Legacy is, like, really cheap to play online compared to what? in paper. You mean no one's playing Brawl? <laughs> <laughs> I love how much they push that shitty format and no one's fucking playing it. Yeah, like, it's it's because, like, it doesn't appeal to anyone. Like, commander players don't want rotating commander. Pretty much. That's really all it is. Is commander that rotates. And, like, I'm fairly certain, like... So, I turn one, the Swiss Spear, or this turn one, the Bow Mat? Uh... It's always Bow Mat. It's always Bow Mat. And then they're gonna bolt it. <laughs> Probably because we're against Burn again. Why can't we just play Death Shadow every round? We follow the like every league. Because Death Shadow is such like, a bad deck that like you only find them at the 04 link bracket. Yep. The funniest thing is every time a budget deck comes out on uh, Magic Online, uh, here comes the bolt. Everyone plays it. Everyone plays it. Oh, is this Storm? No. no. It's, it's, it's a bad deck. <laughs> I can't even hazard a guess at what turn one ancestral vision. Uh, is it ancestral visions? Yeah, visions. Like, yeah, I have uh, no idea what they're playing, but I'm assuming it's terrible.
Yeah, I don't feel like wasting cards on Bowman is a very good idea in general, though. But, like, wasting removal on it? Like, oh. Yeah, like... On removal, like, as a standpoint, I think I'd rather kill the Swiss Beer, but that's just me. I think it's going to be Grixis Pyromancer. Mana week. <laughs> <laughs> Days. I wish that was legal and modern. That'd be degenerate, like super degenerate. It would actually make blue probably a little too. It probably makes storm like really fucking strong. Lightning axe. Sure, I'll sack it. No. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. We're still in pre-combat main. Is this Grishol brand? Yeah. Is this Grishol brand? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't see it right. I see Grizzle brand in the graveyard, so uh, I didn't see that part. Sure, I'll just pitch both of these. Play this chump. Beat for four. Well, they're dead next turn. Yeah, but we might be dead here also. Yeah, no, that's true. Grizzle Brand really is just one of those deck sets. But well, they can't draw, though, right away. You're right. They need to have the... Uh, We've done a lot of damage to them. They need to have Nourishing Shoal and uh, Elder Scale Worm. Why in the fuck hand. are they playing Ancestral in that deck? Yeah, that's a weird choice. I'm going to yield and then see what I lose to. They, they have to have, like, the perfect four cards to go off here. Mm hmm. What? Um, is it Charm? Sure. Uh, you're still dead. <laughs> got shot! Got him, boy! Oh, no. <laughs> also, would have got them? Any other burn spell. That's true. But I just didn't want it to be gut shot. But it is. It is. <sighs> Maybe flawless still. Oh, his write up of this deck is like so bad too. He's like, that's a great deck because it does stupidly <laughs> unpowerful things. <laughs> I think I just bring in Pyros? Actually, no, I think maybe the Emissaries are actually decent against this deck, are they? Uh, you want Torn Mod Script. Oh, yes. It's a graveyard deck. <laughs> I forgot about that. I think I take Searing Bloods out though. Probably. Yeah, their they're win con's a one of Baborgamos. I'm going to take out gut shots because they're fucking awful. They shouldn't be in the deck. <laughs> I'd almost rather main deck Damping Sphere just to tilt someone. <laughs> Actually, I think one or two of Damping Sphere might be good because they also try to go off using Manamorphose. That's what I thought. They, like, they try storming, kind of, but not really. Yeah, but you really just have to stop the Baborgamos and they lose. Don't they throw the Breach too? Very rarely. That's like their super side option. Well, what should I take out then? Um, I think cover copters might just be too slow. Yeah, bring in the sphere. Oh god, I didn't get it in time. Oh well. This, this looks seems like a fine. Hand. We're not going to draw another land. What? We're actually just going to lose on turn one, so it don't matter. <laughs> Is there a world where Grishel Brain turn ones? Yeah, Grishel Brain can turn one. Isn't it, like, really unlikely? Like Yeah, no, 6%. it's really unlikely, but it can actually do it. As long as you get them below uh, 7, if you get them to 7 or below before they get their Grizzle, uh, their grizzle Brand out, you just win, though. Well, it's like they mulligan, too, so... And they have nothing exiled, so it's not the Serum Powder variant. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, man. <laughs> this is like the one land for days. Can I love X him now? Uh, yeah, I think you pitched the Young Pyromancer. And the Flames have killed. Actually, I actually think I'd get rid of Lalamant Runner. Yeah, that's fine also. They both work. Actually, yeah, I guess Swiss Beer. I think you're favored in this matchup, though. I think so, because we do burn damage. 
Yeah, and if you have a bolt in hand and you leave it up for when they try to go off, they sometimes do put themselves at, like, the low enough point where you can just get them. Yep. Yeah, their deck just does eat damage, so... Crystal Brand's, like, a Crystal Brand is, like, a cool deck, but I don't think it's good. If that's what they are. Wow, sure. Yes. That has to be what they are, right? Two for one yourself, right? They can't possibly just be, like... They gotta be Grishel Brand. Grixis I didn't bad think, stuff. I didn't think uh, it played blue, though. <coughs> they usually don't. No, it plays green, right? Yeah. For, like, the nourishing shoal hard cast, potentially. That's yours. I'm... Oh, this one's mine? Yeah. Ah. Thank you. I'm like chugging painkillers here. <laughs> hey, look at that. They Goryosed, and then we lose. Not necessarily. The deck still has a fizzle rate of, like... Four percent. Of all the decks I'm familiar with, Grishel Brand is one of them for some reason. I mean, in reality, they've done nothing except gain seven, and then drew seven, and then played a black card. They should just try to go off here. Sure, Fatal Push it. That's that's fine. I really don't care. Oh my God, they're dumb. They could have just won there. They put Kiki in the graveyard. This isn't Grishel Brand. This is a dumpster fire. I think I just play Young Pyromancer and pass, right? Mm hmm. Young Pyromancer and Tormod Script? Yeah, you need to get the Tormod Script on board to, like, freak him out of it. Scoop. <laughs> you got me. I don't know why they didn't just try to go off there. They, they I don't think they could have. No, you, uh, activate Grizzle Brand, go down to, like, whatever, because you were tapped out. Like, go down to whatever negligible life total. And yeah. then you're bound to draw an Elder Scroll Worm and Nourishing Shoal, go back up, and just keep going. But I've also never seen this variant that's running Kiki Jiki. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Alright, they're drawing two, discard two. That's that's fine. Alright, let's bring this up here, because I'm going to fuck up and forget. Next turn we get to do these, this, though, and tag for two. Well, actually, four. Yeah, I've never seen this version of Gorios. It's, like, very bad. It's not even the, um, Obzetic Gorios, which I think is actually pretty good. That one I think is actually really good, but, like... Because you get a 5-5 five five on turn two that just pings them for two life and you gain two. That's actually a lot... Even just that alone is actually pretty hard for a lot of decks to deal with. Just like, a constant drain. This version is running, like, Kiki Jiki. I think they're trying to be cute and they're just gonna fucking lose. But what are they trying to be? Like, knock off Splinter Twin? Yes. Then they're going to lose because of it. They can still three to breach us and kill us, I think. But... What, with enemy? Yeah, in reality, that doesn't like, fucking wrecks us, but... Actually, it kills us. It's lethal. There's no way, though, because that... The early discard to uh, Grizzle Brand, they would have just held that until they could uh, Gorio's back Emrakul instead. True. That or they're just very bad and didn't see that line of play. There's also that possibility. Did they shock themselves on that? They did. That's Death Shadow Gorio. <laughs> I would be shocked. They're, they actually are trying to just be twin. They're a really bad Gory of Vengeance twin. Don't you just nuke the yard now? Oh, I didn't realize they tapped it. Yeah, no, I just lose because I fucked up. They might not have Gorios here, though. They should. They drew like a million cards. Yep. We lost because I'm an idiot. Well, we also drew it, like, insanely badly, so... Yeah, plus, like, I think we're pretty heavily favored for game three. Is Dating Sphere relevant here? I think it's better than Copter. This is fine. This is actually, like, really good. Turn one into... Yeah, turn one... I think you Lava Spike turn one. Then turn two... 
lava spike again through and get to the yeah. lava mancer lava runner yeah i think so plus like you put them at the point where like activating Gri uh grizzle brand doesn't feel good yeah this is one of those decks you just have to like aggro down really quick don't worry they're gonna fatal push here Crack doesn't grab basic. Shock self. That's fine. I just in general don't understand their deck. I'm confused about like a lot of it because it doesn't. It, it's not the deck I'm familiar with. I don't think it's a very good version of this deck. Like, I don't get why it's weird, bad twin. Just play Keld, I guess. Yeah. Mana weak? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't shock me. They are running, like, Ancestral Visions. They died before that went off. <laughs> they, they did. They turned one bit. Sure, I'll draw two. Yeah, now that they're playing there, if they try to through the breach here, it doesn't feel great. Yeah. So, like, what are they going to do through the breach? Uh, Grizzlebrand hit to, like, draw seven, pass. <sighs> oh, shit. But I clicked through combat. That's fine. Unless they like Simeon Spirit Guide Kiki Jiki here, you're fine. I think you just run out damping sphere here. Do I? I think. I was thinking just Faithless Looting and try to hit some burn spells. That's fair. Yeah, pitch, pitch. Oh, that actually turns out like perfect. You have super lethal on board now. They should be dead. Yeah, if this goes through, they're just dead. Cause then, yeah. Well, they should have been dead already because I fucking clicked through my last turn. Yeah, no matter what they bring in here, they lose, yeah. Let's fucking scoop. Scoop. Hey, we're 2-1. Nice. 2-0. 2-0. So yeah, I'm really liking the changes we made. Yeah. I like, do think maybe taking two Damping Spheres out of the sideboard and putting in two Dragon's Claws. Dragon Claws just to... But I think that's just because, like, we get matched up against Burn a lot more than we should. It's true, but... I think it's not better, like not a bad card to bring in. Oh yeah, I, I don't... Especially since we're a mono red deck. We can eke out some wins that way. Particularly against Storm. It makes it significantly harder for them to storm through it. Yeah, because everything that they're casting is basically like, you have to get that many more storm count. I haven't felt as awful keeping one landers with this deck either. Yeah, it's because like, our burn spells aren't tied up in bad three drops. Because Wizard's Lightning only felt good if you had, like, Lava Runner in hand. Yep. Yeah, a lot of them felt awful. Like, Wizard's Lightning never was ever a one mana. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get wrecked by, uh... Hollow One. Hollow One. Do we have Artifact Kate in the sideboard? Do I just fucking bolt it? I think so, because otherwise that it's gonna like, insane. like, a lot... I remember when that card first got spoiled, there was like a combo with it in Shadow from the Grave or whatever. 
and it's like the worst combo ever that needed you to have magical Christmas land like two times over. I've spin those wheels. Wow, that I think that actually went very well for you. Well, this card is some good cards though. That's true. But their deck's like such an all-or-nothing deck that once like you fight through it a bit, like you just win. Do I play the get to? So I suspend this. <coughs> Bless, Bless you. you. I think I attack with both. I think so. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, God, dying. <laughs> if they block the bow mat, though, like I just sack the draw three. Yeah. However, if they block the Swiss spear, uh, Swiss spear, you just get to like kill it. Following the uh, theme of everything I say, I hate the Hollow One deck. I legit don't like this deck. Like, I don't think it's good. I think it's, like, extremely high variance. I don't like Burning Inquiry being double-sided. I, I also hate that. I have actually lost because I've, milled, I've discarded three lands in my hand. Like, I don't think if Him to Torok is allowed in, like, a lot of formats, I don't think Burning Inquiry should be allowed because it's, like, essentially the same effect. So Jim Torok is like infinitely more damaging, but also should probably be banned. Play the land. I think you just attack. Yeah. Well, if they don't block, they're dead. Huh. I still think you just like gut shot their face. Flame of Keld. I actually pay for it though. Yes. Flames of Kel was, like, shockingly good. It is, actually. Yeah, I mean, I could have done all this pre-combat, but they would have blocked my prowess 100% yeah, then. I was trying to get them. They would have just baited the block harder. Yeah, I was trying to get them not to block it, that way I could actually kill them. Now you just top deck two burn spells, you win. Well, and I don't think they can attack anymore. Nice. I think you're bringing Damping Sphere here. I actually think I do. Yeah, like, no, I'm not meaning. Like, like it's very good if they Burning Inquiry and then try to play it on, like, turn one because it just stops it. I don't know if Searing Blood's that great in this matchup. Uh, the only thing it kills is the Flame Blade. And the Phoenix, actually. Yeah. That's not, no, that's and actually they play um, the 2-1 as well. This seems to be, like, the mono-red version. I think I take out these Gitsus, though. I don't think they're that good. I think that's it. I mean, unless Pyromancer actually might be solid in this. It'd be, like, okay for extended chump blocking if the game goes long. Like, take out Copter? And, yeah. How many Damning Spheres did you bring in? Four. Uh, take out, like, one Damning Sphere. Come back at Copter. Is Damning Sphere symmetrical? Yes. We're going for it. Ew. We're gonna get wrecked by it. Man, that game just worked out really well for us. We did, like, super super well on that. Well, it's because I think that this this version is, like, strictly better. Yeah, we're playing better burn spells. Like, mm -hmm. Lava Spike... From in there, I thought they were gonna... Burning Inquiry, and we're gonna discard all of our fucking lands. Ugh. The nightmare scenario. Wow. Huh. So we have four mana, we can, we can get them. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can just, like, nuke them in one shot. Good. Alright, Faithless is good. I don't actually like that discard in Faithless. Yeah, they're mono red, it looks like. That's unusual, right? Mm hmm. It looks like they may have transformative sideboard into burn. Mono red burn? Yeah. Yeah, potentially. I think he's a spend rift bolt. And then lava spike him, because like you have nothing else this turn. Backing. <laughs> Kinda just like reclines like a mermaid, which is not so graceful. 
Burning inquiry. More like a beached whale. Oh. Wow, they might just get there based on burn damage. They're not crazy, right? See, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to discard like, all these fiery tempers to it. I only... Really... Oh, I just started one. They're actually not bad. Like, you're, you're shockingly close to them just being dead. Yeah. Hollowed one makes that a little more annoying. I can get their hollow one though. I can kill both of these. Like I can oh, rip bolt it and then spend. gut shot it. Or do you just put it like at the face? I don't think I can. No, you can't. Yeah, you're gonna have to. And then gut shot it, paying mana. Or do I gut shot it, paying life? And then I can discard fiery, fiery kill, and then hit three. Yeah, but then you're like open to. I think that's fine. I think we're that's uh -huh. the only way we're winning. Okay, then do it. I was gonna do it on their turn, just in case. To get a flame wake and I need to slap them around a bit or if they have a burning inquiry I'll fucking love that goblin lore I think that's fine right I think you have to do it in response do this in response yeah because like you don't want them to get another like potential prowess trigger go there Is Goblin Lore, like, still $30? Yeah. Jesus. Well, they only printed it twice. But so. like... How many cards did we get? Ooh, actually, that's not bad. No, we're going to play Double Hellboy one here. Oh, God. Do I just Lava Spike and Bolt? And then Damping Sphere? <laughs> yeah, I think you just empty hand it. They're probably like damping sphere. What? It means that they can't goblin lore hollow one. It does. And now they can't cast anything with the Swiss spear. Yeah. Ooh, looter scooter is awkward here. No, no, we're just at the bolt. So. Not necessarily. Yeah, hundred percent, we are. Oh my god, really? Was that volcanic fallout for the for game? It was. That it was. Well, actually these might actually not be bad. I feel like that match just gave me like... I feel like, like they're better answer. than Rift Bolt. Where should I put pizza? Oh, I'll take out one of the items here. I forgot I'm these. super interested in the pizza. She had... No, she just wants to know what it is. Oh. Yeah, she could care less about human food. It's actually weird. Both of, neither of our cats actually care. And then she just runs away. Yep. So I don't think they can My deal with My first cat, like, mac easily. and cheese, and that was it. And turkey. <laughs> I think I would just, Forgot like, the turkey. I would just constantly feed the cat mac and cheese yeah. at that point. You put the bowl in the, the like, the sink, and she, you'd turn away, and she'd be in there, mm, like, looking at <laughs> Like... Where'd she come from? God. That's a shame. I thought we actually had that game. I did too. And then they, they wrecked me. Although, like, isn't Hollow One still like a high tier deck right now? So what do I play here? What? What do I play here? Uh, young Pyromancer. Yeah, I think you just ran out Young Pyromancer. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think they can be Young Pyromancer. Let me hold that beer right now. Yeah, I'll put it somewhere. 
like if they don't deal with young pyromancer so you're gonna go so wide that like they literally can't do anything about burning inquiry literally did nothing to your hand prized amalgam i'm so confused like what's with these weird like bad cards well i'm gonna say like um, amalgam decks but that makes it sound like I'm being prized amalgam decks oh i should have played the sphere well i can kill both bolt bolt and then block block yeah i think that's what you do They still have four cards in hand. I don't understand that. It's because Burning Inquiry is like insanely busted. Did they Goblin War earlier? No. Well, they're about to lose their Hollow ones, though, so like. And potentially their Swift Spear. Yep. So they might just get board wiped here, which is fine. I'm shocked that they didn't deal with Young Pyromancer. So am I. Like, I think I would have just ignored, like, playing the Hollowed ones to get Young Pyromancer off the board. Seems how they just dumped all those resources into playing them and now they're dead. I'm going to bolt your elemental. Volcanic Fallout. <sighs> well, at least they would die. It's a, this wouldn't though. Volcanic Fall, it's just like, I was not expecting that to be a card I would see in Modern. Nope. Like. Oh, they're bolting the token. Are they really? Yes. Sure. Why did they bolt the token? They're bad at the game of Magic the Gather. <laughs> That's accurate. I think I have Faithless Looting. Mm-hmm. As long as I make tokens, I don't think they can beat me. So. Yeah, like you're just gonna keep Aren't clogging they, the board. Isn't the one make the token? Ooh. Or you have something just else. That pitch these two, I think. Yeah, you are those guys. Oh, you're so tempting though. What to keep? But well, I think I'm winning with Looter Scooter. The sphere is a nothing right now. Like you've already gotten like to the nightmare scenario of them dropping two four fours very early on. So now they're just like irrelevant. Yeah, they're going to get back their Amalgam, too. Because they have uh, Hill Spark Elemental in the graveyard. The fucking what? You heard me. What is that? Hell Spark Elemental is like a card that I used to play in bad, like, $3 dredge. Well, they're trying the dredge, I'll say that. Yeah, you can die. I don't give a shit. I'll take four. Yeah, I think you just slammed that. Flames of Kel, crew up, copter. Well, I think I actually... Uh, wait, crew copter first. Crew copter first. Oh, shit. I didn't do it. I fucked up. <laughs> now I think you just second main phase do it. I don't think it's gonna like. I don't think it's gonna be relevant, but yeah. it could be. I mean, depending on what they drop right now, I think. Oh, Jesus. Is that only two damage to everything? Yep. Okay. I think I traded for their hollow one. Right? Yeah, I agree. They might just not swing here because of it, though. Those chumps. Little do they know. <laughs> yeah. Do I Faithless first and then try hitting another scrub to crew it up with? Or do I... I think you crew first. Like, I think you swing first.
that was a pretty good draw. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can kill it. And then next turn, you're basically representing lethal. <laughs> Straight up have lethal next turn. Yep. They can do three damage to me. Great. Took down Hollow One. Bad Hollow One, though. Yeah. Mono Red Hollow One mixed with Burn. Mono Red Hollow One with Prize Amalgam. <laughs> Which it they just never brought back. It's like a very weird, like, option to put into the deck. I think so. What are they doing? Is this, like, Glorious End? Crew up. <laughs> Just to get them. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to see what they're playing. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> Slow rolled. <laughs> it deals five this turn. <laughs> so they're just dead. I think they posted put something in there. Oh, they did. GG. Good games. Those are like not bad. Oh god, these draws were bad though. That Spidomogus was actually yeah, that was really like good. Clutch. We're three <laughs> oh. I think it's Pete's time, so we're gonna stop streaming. That's fine. And stop recording.